And we're live. Mr. Clary, what's happening? I, uh, are you getting, like, are the Portland police about to arrest you? Because you look like you're having way too much fun. Like, you're not allowed. You, you're supposed to be a sad, depressed, contemplating self-deletion white person in Portland. You can't possibly be having that much fun with that crazy and festive of a shirt. So about two hours ago, it was my nephew's final day of a pre-kindergarten. Okay. So, so they were having a little like, you know, end of pre-K year, like little, they called it a luau, but it was really just, you know, some snacks and juice boxes and people sure. showed up wearing a Hawaiian shirt. And I'm just like, Hawaiian shirt? Hell yeah. Yeah. And they were handing out these things. So, and my nephew put one on me. So I'm just like, you know what? I'll just leave this on for the rest of the day. Cause well, you know what? He'll, he'll, that is the coolest uncle ever. That's, uh, it even <laughs> matches your shirt. Like it's kind of nice. It's got, you got a, a yellow lay and then you have pineapple on your shirt. That kind of, kind of lucky. Yeah. It works. Yeah. It works very well. Um, Clary, before I get to my beer, I have to show you this. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, one of the things about being a good uncle is that, uh, and you probably actually do your nieces and nephews, do they want to just like follow you around or they like it's uncle. Yeah. If I hadn't seen him in a while, there's a little mm -hmm. bit of that. Uh, the GF gets swamped by another set of nephews and nieces. Literally they have, um, an anti appreciation fan club. They made a poster filled with crazy stickers and everything. And when we walk in or when she just walks in, they just mob her. Uh, really? But the, yeah. Yeah. But the, the rest, they, they kind of, they're excited, to see, but they don't follow me around because you got a three year old, right? Uh, he's five. Five. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. No, they're, they're a little bit older. So they're like, they usually want me to, to show me like, oh, look what we did to our room or look at my doll or says they drag me to show me the fort they built, but they don't mm -hmm. really follow me around uh, all that much. Well, you know, I barely see him. And so he wants to follow me around, which I, I love it, but you know, it can get a little bit tiring, you know, exhausting sometimes me being mm -hmm. an older guy. So I get back from this, you know, this luau thing, I, I get in and um, I'm just like, man, I sure could use some caffeine right now. And I go into my brother-in-law's, um, he's got this little mini fridge out in the mm -hmm. garage. And what do I see? I see this. Now tell me if you can read this. There's a bit of a glare. Can you see what it Stra says? Ultra strawberry dreams. Sorry, it's not for like fighting uh, breast cancer. No, no. That, it's, it's a new flavor because, I mean, I used to drink these. And this is the light version. So it's only 10 calories, no sugar. All right. And um, so I saw that and I thought to myself, you know what? You know what other strawberry light energy drink I've had before? Rooster Booster Light. To booster light. So I was mm -hmm. like, there's no way I'm not going to drink this now. And I'm going to tell Clary all about how the two compare because this might blow I, his mind a little bit. Okay. I, I mean, is it is it comparable? What do, what do we got? Same. No kidding. Same. Oh, and this is something that should be yeah. available where you are. So what I'd like yeah. you to do is try one of these one time. One time. If it doesn't measure up, then... Oh, yeah. I'm I'm putting it on my to-do list right now. Hang on, let me type it. Monster Rooster. It's Rooster. called Ultra Strawberry Dreams. Zero okay. sugar per can. Um, it didn't taste that bad. Didn't taste How, that bad. Now I've had Monster before once, and one of those big Monster cans. Do your kidneys hurt right now? <laughs> no, um, but they're about to uh, because, <laughs> in keeping with the Hawaii theme, sure. This is a Lagunitas Tiki Fusion, which, from what I understand, you can only really get on the West Coast. So I'm like, ooh. Mm -hmm. uh, it's called a zombie cocktail-inspired IPA, 10%. Oh. I was going to say ladies and gentlemen, but really gentlemen. You know, 10%. I never drink beers this strong until now. <laughs> Well, I, uh, you've had 12, haven't you? Or are we starting to push wine territory by that? This time? is wine territory because my, my, at my like highest ABV, it never really goes past nine. Like I've had a nine on here and even that got me messed up. This is 10. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited about what this could bring. Me um, meanwhile, my drink of choice was rumple mints, which was 50%, but you know, that's okay. You have your 10%. First drink, so time whatever. I ever met you, we got drunk on rumple mints <laughs> and you had such a good time. We all had such a good time. <laughs> um, wow. This smells very, it's like pineapple-y. Well, cheers. Cheers. 
it's good. It's good. It's like a Rattler. You know, it's it's very, very citrusy, which I like. So good. Anyway, good. I, if good. I even knew about what the hipster kids made for beer nowadays, I'd be <laughs> impressed. But uh. yeah, no, it's not bad. But um, yeah, man. So I've been here about a week. Uh, I've just been doing work, trying to get to the gym when I can. I think you're having fun because you you had some a friend in town, right? I had a friend in town, but I got in a way better psychological mood because guess what? What? The last repair to my house has been done. <laughs> and so now I'm back to July 12th and just in time for it to be the last day of summer. Yeah. Ah. So, yeah. But um, and not that I didn't appreciate my friend being here, but I, I'm not hosting anyone or driving anyone around. And I was able to, I, I, I dropped them off at the airport. Although I got to tell you, next time you come out here and for everyone who's in the Rapid City area, you know, all the people that tune in who are from the Rapid City area, <laughs> there Perky Cups, there's a coffee store on the way out to the airport called Perky Cups. I like the name. Well, I had to drop my buddy off at the airport in the morning and I hadn't had my, I had a morning coffee, but I'm like, I, I drove past like perky cups. And it's like a, there's a pinup girl, <laughs> you know, perky cups. And it's one of them kiosk type uh, coffee places. So, so I'm going to hit it on the way back. Cause I had to go back that way to catch 79. So uh, I'm driving back. I turn in and I'm like, okay, it'll be good. Well, it's actually young girls in their bras or bikini what? tops that's it yeah there's two young gals in there like the the name was accurate like it's it's perky cups does great one know about this he needs no to. i gotta tell him because uh he lives in that kind of neighborhood over there but guess what hmm. the coffee was good it wasn't like it was they made i said can you make a brave with heavy cream they're like yeah i'm like okay and they did they didn't screw it up they knew what i was talking about Nice. So I was very impressed. You had two young ladies. Uh, they were okay looking. Um, they had a bikini top or something on and they made good coffee. So I'm like, well, hell, I'm going to go over there then because I might as well, you know, get good coffee and look at two cute girls. Well, that's great. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, that's not the reason I'm happy, but you know, I'm, I'm happy <laughs> for other reasons, but it, it was like a nice surprise. It was like, oh yeah. So if you happen to be in the Rapid City area, Perky Cups. Well, I just hope that this is the real last time any repairs or chores or whatever needs to be done. At I'm least fully prepared to go to. A I am so like I'm 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 doing this to God. Like, yeah, you do one more thing. Just do one more thing. See what happens. Just just <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> what will happen will happen. It's out of my control. I'm not going to worry about it. But I am now back to everything's done. And so now I can finally, like you, get to the gym. Mm. I even finished the first third of the first chapter of my next book. There was like a big hurdle I had right over. I got over that. So that was written very well. Um, <clears throat> so I'm in a very good mood and going forward about the only thing problems going to be like in the upper nineties or a hundred. So, you know, get out and hike early or late, but yeah, otherwise it's, it's, uh, it's almost nice. It's almost back to normal. Is the subject and or title of the book you're writing public knowledge yet? Yes. Or is, what's yeah, it's, it, called, what's it's it? called A World Without Men, an analysis oh. of an all-female economy. Um, mm -hmm. And it it is a legit like economic approach. Like I'm going to take the data, which thankfully the Department of Justice hasn't deleted yet. So I got the mm -hmm. data I downloaded. By the way, Department of Justice, you could delete that now. You can you can <laughs> delete that. I used to uh, work for them. Yeah, in uh, any, I'm sorry, Department of Labor. I'm sorry, Department of Labor. Mm. And I just, I don't know. I'm, I'm almost 50 years old, and all I've heard is women bitching and whining this entire time about how it's so well affair. And I'm like, all right, that's it. Done with your shit. So now I'm going to say, here's what the world would look like if only you girls were in, were in charge, and it will be an absolute shit show. And so uh, that is where I'm just going to recreate an all female economy. And I'm going to say. Here's what's going to happen if you don't do these things. And so women have three choices. I won't mention what they are, but that's what it is. And that is the first of two books in a two book series, because the sequel will then be an economy of one, mm. uh, which is it will be published after that. So that's that's what I'm working on. This is one I'd be interested in reading, I think. <laughs> it, um, it's very interesting. I mean, the numbers that I've pulled so far are incredibly interesting. I mean, not some you couldn't predict, but it's very interesting. Been out here, you know, I 
watch movies. You know, I'm staying with my parents and they want to watch movies at night. So that's what we've been doing. I want you to go back. I think this was almost 25 years now. Do you remember these stupid little things called Beanie Babies? Yeah, of course. Yeah. They were huge. Yeah. It, they were. So we watched this movie. I won't. The plot was stupid, but but it talked about the Beanie Baby bubble. You know how these things like got so damn big and then they mm -hmm. were like mass produced and then it just popped and, like yes. there was no value in them anymore. Mm -hmm. That made me think of like the title, you know, if, if I forget what it was, if there were no men, but if there were only women in the economy, I think there'd be a lot more things like this where because in that movie it was all them buying those stupid ass oh yeah no it, it was largely a female driven phenomenon no like the i don't yeah. know if you even let's go back 35 40 years do you remember those little ceramic collectible doll americana things uh like they came in like, sets oh, no they're man. about yay big uh i i pro i can't seem to remember them but like um well, okay, it was dumb. Only women bought it, and now these women are old and dying, and now people are going into grandma's house, and there's these dumbass ceramic collectibles, and they're all just being thrown into the bin. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, that Hummel. Was... Yeah, the guys in the chat. Are they Hummel fi figurines? Is that what they're called? Hummel? How do you spell it? Hummel. H-U-M-M-E-L. I, I don't know about figurines. these figurines. Yep, those are it. There you go. Yep. Kind yeah, of, so they're just getting things. thrown away. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, mm. here's here. I'm not giving away the book by pointing this out. Do you think there'd even be enough electricity to create beanie babies under an all female economy? <laughs> we know the answer to that. Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. By the way. I did ask my dad. I'm like, you're going to tune into the stream I'm doing tonight. He's oh, yeah? like, no. Mm -mm. I'm like, well, why not? He's like, you guys say stuff that annoys me and isn't true. So I'm just but then like, he'll go right. watch CNN in the news, <laughs> yeah, huh? Right. Okay, wow. It's like, I'm just like, you know, so you think that, you know, CNN and MSNBC are telling the truth. You think they're like 100% true. He's for, like, for, <sighs> forget whether it's true or not. At his age and at this stage in the game for Mr. Elkins, he should be more worried about what does it do to his blood pressure? I would say we lower his blood pressure. He looks at us as, as two Hanyakers, two idiots. He just he'd probably get a laugh out of us. He could dismiss us of being wrong. But I guarantee you him watching. I don't know. Who are the idiots? Is, is John Oliver still on MSNBC or, or I mean, is, is Anderson Cooper, the robot still on CNN? Rachel Madcow or whatever. Oh, okay. Is. Rachel Maddow. Right. Yeah. Those people are going to drive his blood pressure up. We're better for Mr. Elkin. We're better for all old people. We keep your blood pressure down. I made the argument. I'm like, dad, stop watching this stuff at all. You know, like this is just, it's rotting your brain. And he's like, yeah. nope. Mm -mm. Is uh, so. Mr. Elkins helping you with busy season two? Uh, no, I mean, I, I don't want to drag him into this. Uh, it's actually, oh, and I'm going to bring that up a little bit later. Actually, the subject of, of tonight's uh, stream. I'll, I'll bring Mr. Elkins into this. Oh, okay, cause... good. I, I, I enjoy Mr. Elkins stories. Yeah. Um, and before we get to Super Chat, I did want to ask you this because it just hit me. You pretty much only fly Spirit and then other airlines sort of, we'll just call them more economic. You call airlines, them cheap. Right? Yeah. Cheap. <laughs> yeah. Allegiant, Frontier, JetBlue, Southwest, uh, but mostly Spirit, though, less so because that was the way I got from Minneapolis to Vegas. And now we ain't flying out of Minneapolis no more. Mm. And so now the predominant carrier is Allegiant. That was the first the first time I and only time I've flown it was with you and your GF from Reno. Mm. It was OK. Those are good times. Yeah. Good times. Um, this is what I want. Well, do first of all, do any of those airlines offer Internet as an option either to purchase or is it just I know? think some do, but not really. I yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you need that, you got to go Delta or whatever the rich people fly. Um. Wait, how much? How much do you? What do you want out of an airline? They take you from here to there very fast, and as long as they don't crash the plane, I mean, isn't that good enough? I, I'm kind of going there with this. Yeah, like I, so I flew Alaska here from Chicago, and I, I like Alaska. They've always been great, um, and it was a wonderful flight. You know, 
And there was this dude in the row with me, and he was all like, you know, stressed out. He's on his laptop. He's like, <laughs> and every time he looked at his email, he's getting pissed off. He's like, oh, you know, he looked like me during busy season. Mm -hmm. And the whole time I'm thinking, it's like, dude, why did you pay money just to be pissed off for the entirety of this flight? Like, I never, ever, ever buy internet when I'm in the air, I'm just like, this is my time away from all that shit. Right. You know, I can listen to music. I can, you know, I download YouTube videos, sometimes even you, you know, I'll, I'll listen to that. Wow, on the plane or watch okay. The plane. Right. okay. I know. Okay. Yeah. And, um, and it's just, you know, the, the candidate we've traveled on, she always, always gets internet, which I totally get. Cause she likes to, you know, be occupied and everything, but yeah. you know, me, I'm just kind of like, I don't want to check my email. I don't want anybody to be able to find me. So I was just curious where you fell on that, but I guess it's never even an option for you. Cause you're on it's, all these. <laughs> there's been, I, I got it once and I think I paid for it maybe cause I was flying out to fresh and fit and it's like a, a 28 hour flight or however long it takes to get to that part of the country. <laughs> And I remember the internet being shoddy, like it would come in and out. I couldn't access it. And so mm -hmm. I, I always presume like, you know, they can't keep the internet going on the ground. I don't know how they're going to get it regularly on an airplane. So maybe things are better now, but I just don't. And usually I will bring some other form of work like writing, which you don't need the internet for. Right. Um, I'll just do a podcast. A lot of times I'm reviewing somebody else's book uh, that has, occupied it's so all read it um while doing that but yeah usually i don't i don't have the internet it's um, distraction free it's like yeah. a gift nobody can bother you well, at least what I, I what i do now is i, I play my switch and mm -hmm. i play video games and all of a sudden it's like we're landing i'm like oh crap that went fast so that's what i've done for the for the past several uh flights is play my my switch but yeah it is it is kind of like this forgiveness and there's what what's great about it i think you'll agree is that it's like getting snowed in, like it's guilt free. There's nothing you could do. You can't right. go to the gym. You can't whatever. There's no way for you to do it. Nothing's open. You can't do it. And so I right. really appreciate the lack of guilt that comes with because then you can really enjoy a video game or whatever it is you want to do uh, uh, guilt free. It's relief to me. It's mm -hmm. like, look, I could pay whatever it is, 18 bucks for internet with a flight, but why? I'm no. enjoying just having that. Not well, but you're accessible. on the you work on the internet, so do I. I mean, I think you and I, yeah, whereas as the candidate, she doesn't work on the internet. That's like a, <laughs> right, know, a fun right. thing for kind of for her. Right. But that's why this guy, you know, sitting in my row, he was just so agitated. And it was all because, you know, he decided to pay for internet, or maybe his company did. And he was just like, he's the whole time, this is a long flight out here. He was just mm -hmm. like pissed off. Well, yeah, because like, he wasn't getting internet like that's what i was wondering was the no internet he wild? was getting the internet yeah. so it was like he was shooting himself in the foot because <laughs> you know he's he's paying to like not be able to enjoy this flight like he's just there like miserable the guy was miserable i think he was an attorney i kind of gathered that makes me happy. like that makes it very happy. yeah oh me too man so i was just like you know dude just fucking be off the clock for a bit. Enjoy the flight. You know, have a cock, have a Coke Zero. Why are you mm -hmm. doing this to yourself? But that, that was just, I was curious. They can't all be like us, Chad. Time. They can't all be calm and not angry like us. Zen masters just sitting here chilling out with our fancy clothes. Uh, fancy clothes. Uh, let's do some super chats. I Already? See some familiar dudes. Yeah, man. Do you have any other interesting stories from? I have a week? I have a question, a very interesting request coming from a guy in Nigeria, not a Nigerian prince scam, but a legit guy in Nigeria trying to make it. And I thought that you, with your accounting background on how we advocate accounting uh, as a means to be remotely employed, I have some questions, and I'd like to go through the request sure. with you and and maybe help this guy out. And kill two birds with one stone. So, yeah, we'll uh, do it. What but otherwise, no, for. I got nothing else going on. I'm on the show okay. with you. You thought I had something exciting going on tonight? What? What? Did... Well, I didn't know if there was one or two of you because uh, you know I that was see... me. That was, was that me. you? Your yeah, self-loathing turned yep. self-loathing on us. I yeah. always say you're in Portland, so I want to be like the other white people of Portland and hate myself. <laughs> self-loathing. I said, but that not, twice. but not, not enough to actually end it. No, I want to be around and be a pain in the ass to everyone else. You know, I want to actually improve society <laughs> by ending it being a Portlander. I just want to complain and hate myself. 
it's tent city out here, man. I was out and about. It was tent city. Well, all those Zoomers and millennials could have become carpenters and built their own. You could still build your own damn house if you'd like, but I know that would require work and all that. But that's oh well, not, that's not what they do out here. <laughs> <laughs> Ms. Mies, two bucks. They have buggies over on the West Coast. Do they? I don't think they do. I don't think they do. Um, I'll ask my brother-in-law. I don't think so. I don't think they have buckets. I, I think it's largely a southern affair in yeah. um, Texas and east. I know they yeah. got them in Florida, Tennessee, maybe Alabama, Mississippi. I don't know about Louisiana. Um, Lucifer and Geronimo went to the one in, in uh, Tallahassee, I believe it was. What are they doing in Tallahassee? They they go down to Florida for winter. And they then oh, they okay. and I got them a Bucky doll. Each they each got their own Bucky doll. So when they saw a Bucky's, they freaked out. Yeah. They had to go to Bucky's, and so then they got me my winter Bucky hat. But I don't think it's any further west than Texas. I think it's all along Interstate 35. I'm pretty sure they're not up here. Um, That's too much fun for Oregon. Calls will crack in ten dollars. Just started my own tax bookkeeping business. How much should you charge a client per hour for their tax form and or bookkeeping? My own business, a few months old, doing well. Thank you for everything. Well, thanks for the super chat. It's a little bit hard to answer because so much of it depends on where you're located. Um, and, you know, the supply of CP, well, accountant, you know, tax accountants, bookkeepers in the area. Um, I mean, and again, this is part of the topic of the show. Like my rates have gone up considerably and you're going to hear me talk about this. There's a shortage of all of us, uh, causal Kraken. I mean, even mm -hmm. bookkeepers. There's just not a lot of people out there that are doing this. So you ask me, how much should you charge a client? Uh, bookkeeping, I can tell you, in my area, Chicago, it ranges from about 55 to 65, maybe, maybe top end 70 per hour. That's bookkeeping, okay? Mm -hmm. Tax is just a lot more variable. Um, a lot of tax accountants don't really charge by the hour unless they're doing consulting. So... Um, I know I have a minimum that I do for all 1040s. I won't say what it is, but um, at a bare minimum, I'll tell you this, Causal Kraken, you should not be charging by time when you're preparing tax returns. You should have a minimum that you charge for every return and then kind of base it on the complexity of that return. I don't think anybody should go below $300, you know, in terms of, of like a tax return minimum, um, especially with the way things are going now. And again, we're going to talk about this. So I don't think you should go below 300 on a tax return. What you about the thoughts? fact? That, yeah, because he's relatively new. <clears throat> His business yeah. is only a few months old. So, I mean, in order to deliver value for your client, like I, I imagine this, Chad, when you first did bookkeeping, mm -hmm. Taxes. Compared to what you could do in a tax, okay, fine, taxes. Your first yeah. tax return probably took five hours. Yeah. And now you got it down where you could do one. So I would say for now, causal, like do 45. Oh, for you're not For book, well, just because he's not experienced, so it's going to take him more time. So have okay. the end price be the same to finish the project, but bill out at a lower rate. And then so you get once you get more proficient, you can bang out more more production per hour, then go up to the sixty dollar an hour range, uh, or 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 per project, uh, depending on what it is that you're doing. I think that's I think that's a good answer. Um, now it's bookkeeping. Um, I, I'm not going to give the same advice for tax. Because for tax prep, I mean, I made this mistake and I've talked about this at length. You don't want to compete on price to get clients when you're first starting because then they're going to expect to pay the oh, same yeah, low price, yeah. you know, year after year. And then when you raise it, they'll complain bitterly. Basically, you're going to get stuck with a bunch of people who are competitive on price. You don't want price shoppers as clients. It mm. just doesn't lend itself to a good model. But I really do understand the temptation to do that because you're like, well, I, I don't know if I'll get any other clients. I just want to get clients. So, you know, you undercut mm. on price. It's kind of like walking a tightrope on that. Um, all I got to say is if you think they're going to be with you a long time and you don't think they're going to be like nitpicky, try not to like charge too little. Um because you want to like you want to raise prices as time goes on and again we will talk about this tonight or or so. just say look i'm starting out so i'm going to bill at 45 
because it's below market. But mm -hmm. expect next year as it become more proficient that the this is going to go up in a per hour uh, cost. Yeah, it's a it's an interesting question. Like bookkeeping and tax prep, they're honestly two, it's apples right, and oranges. Two different bees. Yeah. 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 So Chase. Chase Robido, five bucks. My first week of public accounting is going well. Cheers, fellas. Well, good for you, Chase. Yeah, good for you. Um, man, Chase, you see my email in the description. I, I, you don't have don't I, don't tell me which public accounting firm you're at because that we don't want that to be public information. Right. But I would like you to email me. I'm curious where you're at. So if you wouldn't mind, shoot me an email. I'm curious. <laughs> Ray John. Hey, Ray John. Ray John. My booty hole itch. All right. Go to all Ray John's back. That's <laughs> Ray John. It's so funny how you've like managed to work your way into being like a, a kind of an old timer, like somebody we all know. Yeah, he's a veteran. Yeah, he is. Yeah. <clears throat> he's all a, he's perverted the, comments. He's a regular at the bar. <laughs> he even has his own seat. <laughs> Ray John, it's good to see you. Oh, Claire, I bet you know this guy. Cynic in chief, I do. You, United States Postal Service wants me to waterproof seal rooster booster. Waterproof God. seal. <laughs> so Cynic says, hey, I got a whole case of rooster booster. And I'm like, are you telling me because you're going to send it to me? You're going to torture me by not sending it to me. He says, no, nah, no, nah, I'll send it to you. But of course, United States Postal Service has to waterproof seal the rooster booster. Well, Cynic kind of travels around, right? He's... Yeah, but he doesn't. He's been busy with. Um, he, I think he bought a house and then um, oh. he got like a a, a a quote real job, and so he hasn't been uh, vagabonding across the country as much. Plus, there's there was only one theme park in Minnesota. It's called uh, Valley Fair. Oh. You, I, they ain't got nothing in the Dakotas, so he's not really. He wouldn't come unless he purposely comes to visit me. There's there's nothing out this direction in terms of uh, roller coaster rides or anything like that. OK. Thanks, Cynic. Oh, you got one more. Cynic and Chief, two bucks. September, October, November are good. Hiking and camping rides. Yeah. Well, when are you planning on going to Vegas? Me? Uh, November. Late November. November. Yep. Yeah. For Jack Napier. He's going to visit you before he visits me. What's up, Alex Patino? Hey, Alex Patino. Yeah. He's got competition. Uh, the tornado chasing kid is now officially a truck driver. And he was just in the chat. We were chatting. Uh, oh, was he? Uh, okay. Yeah, kid, I don't know if you're still here, but man, congrats. I'm really proud of you because you just yeah. kind of stuck. You set this goal and you did it. And now you're. And he skipped you four years of college, the debt, yeah. and now he makes more than most college graduates. Bravo. Bravo. You know, for the last three summers I've been to Oregon, he's been out on the coast and he drives in to see me. So I'm a little sad he's not here right now, but yeah, I'll probably see him in Texas. Up. They all grow yeah. up. You know what he doesn't do? He doesn't watch CNN or MSNBC and he's much happier for it. He's out living his life, man. <laughs> this is an interesting question. Maybe you've never but been asked why, this. Why 2A problem? Two bucks. Cappy, what's your favorite color and why? Uh, it's blue. And I don't know why. I just like the color. You're Democrat, blue? No, no, I just like blue. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. know. Uh, yeah, I don't know why I do. I just do. You know, like why do you why do you like some things more than others? You just do. That's fair. I like green and blue together. Ray John again. Ray John, two bucks. Cap I recommend Sleeping Dogs game for Xbox. Oh, that's old. Sleeping Dogs. Yeah, that's. A, I think I remember that. That's like going 20 years ago yeah i i do remember that game i do have a ps5 now though so nice. i will be able to play video games again like literally everything's caught back up i got a new console i got the battery solar powers everything so it's all well good for you man yeah might even be able to enjoy it uh clary i'm gonna read this one right. non-stop dre 362 bucks chad clients your prices went up why do you hate us Dre, so Dre is in a Dre is halfway across the world. Dre got a new job and he is doing phenomenal. Where is he? Or can we say? 
Uh, Dre, if you're still here, let us know if you want us to say, uh, I'll say he's in the Middle East and, and he's, um, no kidding. Yeah. He shot me a, an Instagram message the other day. Yeah. Well, and thanks a lot, live... Dre, for not keeping me in the loop. <laughs> well, I've met him. He lived two miles from, the I know candidates. I've long so, known know, him longer it, than you have. Why don't I get that's true. for all the insults? I got to deal with a uh, six foot one, <laughs> ha, 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 girls in school. Why don't I get like a, a postcard? I don't even even a postcard. All he has to do is take a picture. Hey, Cappy, greetings from the Middle East, <laughs> having fun. You're short. He said Bye, that I Dre. Say it. He said, uh, I don't know how okay. to. Is it is it Qatar or Cutter? Cutter. Is it Cutter? Cutter? Dre isn't Cutter, and, okay. and he's doing really well. So Good. I'm proud all of right. Dre. Man, all of our kids are just growing up before a very. I'm doing better than we ever will. I'm so proud. Sam Whiskey, most American name in America. Ten bucks. Hey, Vlad, thanks to COVID divorce, forensic accountants are making a fortune. <laughs> how, so how does, wait, what's COVID divorce? COVID divorce is when um, couples were forced to spend so much time with each other because, you know, everybody was like sheltered oh, in place right. and working from home. And they discovered that they can't stand being around each other. So they became a COVID divorce victim. And mm -hmm. Sam is absolutely right because I've got some friends that are in this kind of realm where they have to like figure out who's hiding money from the other person. And uh, yeah, COVID divorce. A lot of people Why does COVID money. divorce require more forensic accounting than regular? It doesn't. Divorce. There's just oh. been an uptick in divorces oh. in the last, okay. uh, probably the last year or two, just because of COVID. So no. Sam, you're absolutely right. And, and COVID made me location independent, which I never thought would happen. So isn't that a wonderful COVID. thing? Isn't have you seen Amazon, all these major corporations trying to get people like, oh, you're going to have to come like, yeah, good luck. Yeah. Do you think they can get him back to work? Or? It depends on how much debt people have. But, and you know, I'm not a big uh, lie around and do nothing type of guy, but these mm. kids are right. Like, don't take a job unless they pay you enough to live where the job is. Yeah, you know, you know, you should you should not accept anything below a living wage. And I mean, if you're a high school kid or college, it's part time. Okay, I get it. You just starting out, but um, yeah, there's there's no reason we should commute. And these kids are like, no, we're not doing it. And and the these corporate executive types, they don't know what to do. They're like, well, I'll get really angry and fire you. Fine, I'll collect unemployment. I don't care. Like, it's just so nice to see corporate America be told to fuck off, and we're not doing it anymore. And, the, and right. there, there shouldn't be a reason to come into to commute into an office if you don't have to. It's it's. Stupid. I could never do it. I, I honestly, I feel for people that are in this position because I mean, if you at least in my industry, you really never ever have to go into the office. It's stupid, right. but they're trying to get accounting departments to do it. So I just feel bad. And, and ev everyone I know, some I know personally, where their jobs are like, okay, we're changing. I'll come back into the office. Guess what they're doing, Chad? What? Well, okay, fine. They come in into the office but guess what the, the the very first thing they started doing guess what uh please tell me it wasn't like a dress code or something they started looking for another job oh oh okay yeah. i thought you meant the employers so okay yeah, yeah, yeah you you no no not the employers the employees so go yeah, ahead they look for another you, job. you mandate yeah. you, you have, oh god we can have a good have a that's what i would do retention. you're making me yeah, come in do it i'm gonna leave yep. stupid nope and and, and I hope I hope the problems of corporate America continue. Eric Burns Marsh for five Same. bucks. Chad, I'm going back to work and have to figure out my withholding retirement withdrawals deductions. Is this something you handle? Don't you check a well, certain amount and tells you what like like isn't it two for the average single guy? Well, uh, Eric, I don't know how old you are because you're talking about retirement withdrawals and deductions that's a whole thing because uh claire you know what retire what required minimum distributions are have you have you heard yeah. that term yeah you have to start taking money out of your retirement so eric if you're talking about that um i would go 10 percent. shoot me an eric just shoot me an email because it's i don't a, think we should talk about it. yeah yeah i don't it's think a lot of this because okay. yeah it's 70 and a half don't you have to start withdrawing yeah and i'm i think eric might I don't be think of Eric is age. 70. You think Eric's well, that he old? Well, he retired because he left one state to move to another state, which you're familiar with for tax reasons, I yeah. think was part of it. So Eric, shoot me an email because I, I don't Eric know. was a young kid. I didn't know he was an old man. What? He, I think he's somewhere in between that. Okay. Like, I don't think he's an old man, but yeah. Yeah. It's sort of, 
Yeah, shoot me an email, Eric, because I think this would be too hard to talk about over here. Um, Cynic. Cynic and Chief, two bucks. I got a six-figure job and almost paid off house. Where have all the good men gone, Chad? <laughs> you can't find them anywhere. Well, here's one of them. Uh, hey, Harvey. COVID. Yeah, that's what I was saying, Harvey. I don't know what the hell these crazy accounts are talking. You're one of them. So it's good to see our IRS agent in the field. God, you know, Harvey and I have discussed, he, he can't come on here, obviously, but man, yeah. I wish he could. <laughs> hey, Harvey, you should just save some notes and then like write a book, you know, change dates and locations and all. But I'm sure you got a really good book in there somewhere with all your experiences. Alex Patino, a truck driving Latino agent in the field, five bucks. In the next five years, thousands of old drivers who started back in the 70s will be retiring. Lots of money to be yes. made, by the way. I still have my GI Bill. Yeah, what do you do with that, Alex? Like, if you don't use it, do you lose it? Can you pass it on to your kid or something? What can you do with that? He can go to law school for the hell of it. What the <laughs> hell would he? Why? Okay. <clears throat> I'm not saying you should, should. President Cappy would be like, you should be able to cash that in. Like if you get a real job or in the trades that doesn't require college, you should be like, hey, you know what? You didn't go to college and you didn't fill a pew or a seat. So we're going to let you keep $20,000 or something like that. <clears throat> Bob, two bucks. If you have a PS5, buy the last two, buy the two last God of War. Okay. Have you heard of that? that. I, I don't... Uh, yeah, I have heard of it. Um, people are telling me to buy... Uh, our Mexican friend, he's telling he really enjoys yeah. that Baldur's Gate three. Yeah. Um, I think feminists are pissed off about it because there's a good looking <laughs> chick in the game. So now I'm really gonna buy it. Uh, but right now I'm gonna start with Atomic Heart and then um probably Baldur's Gate three. Harvey Polanski, you can pass the GI bill on to your kid. There you go, Alex. There you go. Give I didn't it to your know kid. That. No, hmm. oh man, that's nice. Alex Patini, five bucks. Those truck drivers who started driving, you already did this one. Mm. Not going to be unemployed. Go back Go back to what Al, uh, Alex had. He did this one, right? Or... Yeah, but I think he donated twice to say the same thing. Maybe oh. he's been drinking all those beers that he that he posts. Somebody oh, he... both of drivers across the United States not going to unemployed for a while. It was two separate uh, Super Chats that said oh. the same thing. <laughs> Uh, thanks, Alex. Sam. Sam Whiskey, five bucks. Cappy, this is for the redhead at Perky Cups. Well, there was no <laughs> redhead at Perky Cups, unfortunately. It was a uh, a blonde and a brunette. And uh, Did you know you and Great One like the same type of uh, woman? Redheads? Yeah. There, there's a lot, a lot of guys who like redheads. We're not like kind of you know soul brothers in arms on that one. I'm uh, not one of them. It's weird. Really? Well, you don't Cuddlebox was a redhead. Hell with one, you went with a psychopath. Yeah. You know, I think some Jews might might have a little apprehension about a guy with a funny mustache. I could imagine that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Django Geek. Django Geek for five bucks got nothing to say. He's just hanging out. Thanks, dude. He's a good kid. I did a consultation with him a while back. Uh, oh, you know this guy. I know this guy. Hand and clogs five bucks. Happy Cappy. Glory to a robot dog overlords. Chad. Money. Easter face. Statue money. and money again. Yeah. I wonder. It's, fi it's finally getting cooler down where he lives. I think he's gotten through the worst part of summer down south. I don't know how you guys. Alex oh. Patino. He must be. Alex must be hammered. Five bucks. I split my GI bill to my kids, and I kept three months so I can move it around in case one don't want to use it and read my previous super chat. I said something different, <laughs> and he read oh. his super chat. I said something different. Right. Okay. Well. Uh, I'm glad you can pass it on to your kids because that's awesome. I'm glad he's got like, see, anytime I hear someone complain, oh, we can't do it. And eh, I can't afford a house. Right? And I like, oh, yeah, well, how'd this Alex Patino guy do it? He joined the military, fought in war, became a truck driver. He hasn't even touched his GI Bill yet. Now he's got a family and he's got a kids. It's because he works hard, man. Work hard. Wait, wait, what? Work hard. Dude. What? What? As Rich Cooper says, do the work. <laughs> so I did a video about how young people could afford housing. Yeah. And there's, there's no matter how much help you give them. And it's the only help you can give. Like, look, I don't control housing prices, but I say, look, you can buy the land first. You can work two jobs and live at home and save up the money. Don't, don't go to college, take the money instead and put it into a real estate investment trust. You could put a, uh, uh, 
there's prefab homes. You could build your own home. You could get a condo. Like I give all these options. And then there's this chat where it's like, you know, I can't afford housing. We'll just go buy some land. Oh, uh, Cappy's such an out of touch boomer. I'm like, just enjoy being poor and homeless, you worthless piece of shit. Well, here's the real problem. Bob the Builder, y'all can afford housing if you quit giving money to Cappy. <laughs> I wish. I wish I had as much money in, in uh, Super Chats to buy a house. That would be. Well, Clary gets half of this, so. Yeah. Jorge S, five bucks. Hey, Chad, how do I get the refunds? Laughing my ass off. Uh, cheers, guys. Thanks, Jorge. That's nice. Well, you me. get the refunds by hiring the right tax accountant. Uh, of course, you get certain clients, people I won't mention their names, that pay far too much in quarterly estimated tax payments. But yeah, I hate those guys. Now, so, now just so we just so we all know, Chad, let's say I am a lazy, degenerate American and I want to pay my taxes. So I don't file a tax return for five years in a row. And I never heard from the IRS. Does that mean <laughs> I cheated the IRS out of money? No, it means that you were probably due a refund and you aren't going to get it because you were so scared of the IRS. You didn't. It's one thing if you don't want to see a legit accountant, but it, just walk into Jackson Hewitt and see what happens. They'll, yeah. Somebody will be competent enough to explain to you how this works. Right. So I just like the fact that people are too lazy to pay taxes or file a return, I should say, think they're getting away with it when they are probably <laughs> due money. How long does the statute of limitations run? Three years? For a refund, it's only three years, but to come after you, it's like five, unless it's criminal in which it's longer. Okay. So, right. Yeah. It's not fair, is it? Ray John, two bucks. What games do you play on PS5? I've, I haven't even unboxed the PS5. I use that to replace the Xbox uh, One. Because I didn't want to deal with the X and the S and the X series and the S series, of which there are four Xbox platforms in the past two generations. I don't know what games play on any of them. And you know what I like about PlayStation, even though I hate PlayStation? PS5. Yeah. Chad, is that more recent than the PS4? I would surmise that that's right. probably the case. There's only a PS5. Uh, yeah. <laughs> is there a PS6 yet? I don't think that's come out yet. No, it's not out yet. But when the PS6 comes out, guess what? I'll know that's more modern than the PS5. And there won't be a sub X S triple doodad series with, with the hemlock. It'll just be called PS6. And then I'll know what games I could play on it. Soon, I hope. Soon. Oh, you guys and your damn super chats. <laughs> Uh, syndicate chief two bucks here's a dollar for each of you your bras make it rain <laughs> thanks man much love. yeah i do have to tell great one about those girls he'll he'll enjoy that sam whiskey two bucks cappy if they don't work how will they retire uh they're going to retire on you and me and syndicate chief all working to pay extra money for them exactly yeah. but you know who will never be in that position parker because parker is he's my guinea pig here mm -hmm. and he's Harper's going to be fine. We'll provide an update about him soon. All right. Thank you for the super chats, guys. But we do have a topic tonight. We do? Um, oh. We do. I'm going to read a quick article here. Don't worry. I remember your Nigerian friend. We'll get to him. Um, Clary, let me ask you this. Do you think I've raised my fees, not just in the last year, but in the last few years? Uh, you absolutely have, because I've almost doubled mine since the inception of Asshole Consulting. No, I've more than doubled mine since Asshole Consulting. Yeah. Before I get to this, why? Well, because of inflation. Two, because people are being a pain in the ass, and there's the dealing with asshole fees, because it costs you more time and more frustration. And I'd yes. also say the tax code is more complicated than it was seven years ago when you started. That's pretty much everything. I got a couple more things to add, but yeah, quick article here. And uh, yes, so this is from Accounting Today, came out on uh, August 17th. So just a couple of weeks ago, it's relatively recent. The title is Tax Pros Hike Fees by More Than 20%. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tax preparers are planning double digit increases in their fees, according to the National Association of Tax Professionals newly released 2023 fee study. Quote, our study found an average cost for a new client in 2023 
to be $218 versus $174 in 2021, an increase of just about 23%, end quote, said Tom O'Brien, Director of Tax Content and Government Relations at the NATP. So that's for our earlier Super Chat questioner who asked, you know, what should I charge? So that's right, right. point of data. Uh, quote, community size was also found to be a significant factor. So if you're in Topeka, Kansas, yeah, you need to be in a big city. Quote, and he added, quote, for example, in areas of less than 10,000 people, fees in 2023 averaged $164 for a returning client versus 143 in 2021. This is roughly an increase of approximately 14%. In areas with 50,000 or more people, Fees for returning clients increased by 24%, 224 versus 180. O'Brien noted that as a practitioner in the St. Louis metro area, the results reflected the trends in his community. Quote, our average fee was just below 200, end quote. Pause. These seem very low to me, you know, being in the Chicago area. Yeah. Have you been, have you been to St. Louis? A long time ago, I interviewed with some investment bank there that I think got bought up long ago, but I have been there once. Okay. I don't think it's a very expensive city to live in, so mm -hmm. just keep that in mind with this. Um, other key findings of the biannual survey include pricing, regardless of the method and geographical location, increased across the board. Well, no shit. Um, this is actually more important than you think, Clary. I want you to think about this, you. All okay? right. Mobile payments such as Zelle or Venmo are now accepted by 42% of tax professionals. You only do PayPal, do you? Right. Have should I do something it? else? What, what's wrong? Why should I do Zelle or Ven Venmo? Venmo's owned by PayPal. I, yeah, I think you should start doing Venmo because a lot of the younger guys, millennials, they pay by Venmo because it's just like an app. And it is the same as PayPal, but there's not transaction fees on this. OK, I, I mean, most people PayPal allows people to pay by credit card as well, uh, but I guess they're moving on to Venmo or whatever. I, 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 yeah, yeah, sure. OK, it sounds like another thing I have to do that I don't want to do. Don't worry. About it. Okay. Honestly, man, you probably don't need to. Um, 25% of tax pros, I hated this. 25% of tax pros do not charge any additional fees for any state returns when they prepare the federal tax return. Why the fuck would you not charge extra for state tax returns? I don't understand that. At all. Because, uh, they were taught in their business school that profit is bad and it's more important that they donate to, uh, a gay cause. I don't know why they no. I'm, I mean, it, it did, let me ask you this: Well, you were in grad school and business school, didn't they do that whole like <clears throat> give back to the community bullshit? They tried. It was like yeah. you know Catholic Charities of America or some shit. Well, no, you no, know, no, I went to I'm Notre Dame. Saying, I'm like like mm -hmm. compassionate capitalism, or yeah. it's not. Oh, you got to consider the factors. I'm like bullshit. It's my time. I'm going to charge as much as I possibly can. So I could see where. One in four. Well, you said 25% don't charge for the state. Yes. I'm sure they have some kind of, and it's not wrong. It's not bad. They're like, oh, I really not ought to do that. I really, I mean, you probably know some people who could charge more, but they don't. Again, I'll stress to the guy who's just starting. When I first started this in 2013, 2014, hey, I was just like, I'll work extra hard and not charge for it. Mm -hmm. Don't make the same mistake. 6% of tax professionals work went unbilled, most commonly tax strategies and IRS or state correspondence. 6%, Clary, what do you think? Is that high or what do you think? 6% went unbilled, meaning no one- Unbilled. They, they, they so they didn't send for, a bill? They didn't include it with, they did work for free 6% of the time. What do you think about that? Well, it's- that six percent I would charge for. I, I, I don't know. Are you asking me if it's bad or good or is it- Tracking? It should not. I, I don't know. It shouldn't be. It should not be, you guys. It be and again, zero. you can ask Clary. I'm a, a former nice guy. Look, your time is limited. We're all going to die someday. I turned 44 a little over a month ago. My life is half over. You think I want to do that? Yeah, free? you're you're More, yeah. you're like 55 percent dead. Yeah. Right. So in that context, why would you do work for free? Why? I don't know. Maybe I've become mm -hmm. an asshole. No, no, that's, that's me. Uh... 
Almost two thirds, 65 percent of practitioners gross revenue was earned during tax season with another 12 percent coming during the extended tax season. I just do you think this is about where I'm at or does that sound right? To you? No, I imagine you're at 90, 10. Like, don't you get the it's actually about 80, 20. It's about okay. 80, 20. All right. 80, 20. All right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, which means you're working too hard the rest of the year. So and then lastly. You might find this one very interesting because you do, not, Clary, you do not do a video until people pay you, do they? Correct. Correct. 4% of clients pay to have their taxes pre prepared beforehand, 59% paid on completion before filing, and 37% paid after filing, meaning I already filed the taxes and you haven't paid me yet. Isn't that awful? That's horrible. Like That's you lose horrible. Your you lose. Yeah. You don't. You don't. You don't file the taxes until they pay. What the fuck is to stop somebody from like, you know, coming to you, you do their taxes, you file it, and then they don't pay you. Your whole, your ace in the hole is you don't file the taxes until they pay you. So that really, I didn't understand that at all. Well, but, so. but are you starting to see now that you're self-employed and you see industry yeah. data, like, you know, choices, the industry as a whole make, do you realize how dumb the industry is? Holy shit, man. Like I, I, I they... yeah. Like going into banking and working and I thought like everyone had their shit together. And now that I'm like kind of older and I'm looking at it, I'm like, you guys are so stupid and so dumb. It's like, no, I'm surprised the lights are on in this country half the time. Yeah, dude. I just, I, You've heard of the whole imposter syndrome phenomenon. Have you heard that where people who do a good job don't know? Yeah, but I thought they get snuffed out within the first job. Like inevitably they don't do it. But some of these people become president and CEO of Disney. You know, it, it's uh, it's amazing how far these people get. It's making me very scared for the future. I was at that pre-K thing and I'm looking at all these five and six year olds. And I'm like, <laughs> shit, you know. I got my solar panel. Uh, you and I don't care what happens to you guys. I got my electricity. God, man, that could, we could be in for some scary times. Um, you want to fire a gun, Chad? We'll take shifts. You, me, and the great one. <laughs> we can all happen. get nice sleep, work in the farm. And you just protect us from at 500 yards. That's all I ask. <laughs> hey, I, I, last time I was visiting you, we went shooting. We did go shooting. So, so that's pretty much the end of the article. I, I just want to add a few more things here. Um, Look, we have a labor, you've heard me say this a zillion times, we have a labor supply problem in my industry. The boomers who know what they're doing are all retiring. People are not majoring in accounting, partially because the CPA society still makes you get a master's degree just to be able to sit for the CPA exam, which is absolutely ludicrous. So we have a labor supply problem, okay? Mm -hmm. Tax pros have higher pricing power because of this when you say do we have a yeah. shortage of hot thin chicks with a nice demeanor God, we have a damn yeah what is the value of a nice thin chick with a nice demeanor you know what monetarily i would have to think it would be pretty high at this point priceless priceless, priceless. you know and 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 accounts are the same there's a shortage of, what's the shortage of tradesmen right now how long do you Dude. think it it did I, did I tell you the the quote, not the price quote, the landscaping, you know, landscaping. It ain't critical, yeah, but <clears throat> it's needed at times. In South how, Dakota? Yeah. Did I tell you how long he said he could? He was booked out? Weeks or months? He was booked out a year. A year for a landscaping? Year for landscaping, yep, yep. Oh there's a shortage of there's a shortage of people willing to work and there's definitely a shortage of skilled labor like accountants. And so if you want to get into this industry, you know, you're and and even Alex pointed it out too. Like how long does it take an accountant to get I think uh Parker was probably the fastest where he got up up and operational in about a year? Less. 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 He okay. did it he did it in half a year. All right, but for every one of him, how many are doing a four-year degree? Far too many. Right. Far, far, far too so many. So the vast majority of accountants are going to take two to four years to get online and hireable, whereas you know, high, as slinger, gunslingers like Parker could go quickly. So if you think that there's going to be a flood 
of accountants coming in anytime soon. You're wrong. And there's not a flood of linemen coming in. There's not a flood of truckers coming in. There's not a flood of tradespeople coming in. You could walk in and make your money and, oh my God, cry a baby younger people. You might be able to afford a house. Oh. I really worry about that, man. We're going to need people to be able to like fix your plumbing and electricity and all that. Learning so. yourself. I'm, I'm telling you right now, I, I know it's a brilliant idea to be called, become a plumber or an electrician or, or HVAC or whatever. But for every one of you out there, you, you really should just go to the local community college and take a couple courses like, okay, how do you do HVAC? How do you do wiring yeah. so that you could do it because you're going to wait. Okay. Do I need a retaining wall, Chad? Yes. Can I go a year without it though? Yes. All right. Can I go without a toilet? How long can I go without a toilet? I'm just thinking of that picture of me. Yeah, you know, <clears throat> right. Yeah, you you can't go a long time without a, a toilet. No, you uh, can't go a long time without. You can't go a year without a toilet. Yep. So you you all should learn how to like do some basic plumbing <laughs> and electrical work, and you'll be you'll be way better off than all the college graduates. I know how to use a plunger, and that's all I'm yes, going to say. Do. Yes, you do. So here's where I'm going to bring my dad back into this. This is again about why tax pros have raised their. So we got the labor shortage. It is so much harder than it used to be prior to 2018. I'm not even talking about COVID. You, did you hear about all those the Trump you know tax changes? They really did change a lot of stuff. They did change to, a like, lot of stuff. I thought they were supposed to simplify it, but they did not. They made it. They made it more difficult. Which were they trying to do that? I don't understand. Probably. Like yeah. So they actually made it a lot harder. And then you've got those COVID changes from 20 and 20, you know, 2020, 2021. The, We're uh, back to normal now, but the it's PPP still harder. The PPP loans, is that PPP all digested? Loans, is that done? Stimulus. Or is this, yeah. P PPP loans are done. We still have something called the ERC, Employer Retention Credit. That's a scam. Um but basically, it got really, really hard for two years and we're back to normal. But the problem is normal is still harder because of the Trump tax changes. Right. So I was talking to my dad about this just the other day because he retired, you know, 2016, 2017 before all this. And I was telling him what the last few years have been like with this. And he was just sitting there laughing. <laughs> I knew exactly when to get out, didn't I? Yeah, you like, did. Yeah, 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 you really did. But that's all I'm saying that because this is why, again, we're raising our fees. Everything takes longer. There's less of us there. Go ahead. Uh, Mr. Elkins, I have a question. <laughs> uh, if if we vote Democrat and they make it <laughs> more complicated with the tax code, um, it, 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 are you going to charge more fees? <laughs> I'm just, just wondering. He'll never watch this, but I'll make sure to ask him that question tomorrow. Yeah, because so. <laughs> I know Trump complicated the tax code, which surprises me. I thought he simplified it, but apparently not. But no. I'm I'm going to – what if we just had a sales tax? And if we go back to 1913 when they started the income tax, I'm going to bet it was the Democrats that made it progressively more and more complicated. You know what I'm I said to him literally three Kennedy, hours ago? Except for Kennedy. But okay, continue. No, I said this to my dad literally three hours ago when we were yeah. at this thing. Yeah. I was like, dad, you know, it's just ridiculous. You know, you know what they ought to do? They need to do a flat tax. The same thing you and I always talk about. Right. And my dad says, well, then what would you do? I'm like, dad, you're a CPA. I'm a CPA. We can do whatever the hell we want to do in the industry. <laughs> so... He he yeah. it uh oh well that's your dad no yeah last thing i want to mention and you already talked about this but i do want to this is very important of course we're going to raise our fees by a lot because of fucking inflation clary mm -hmm. how much do you think my tax software went up oh i gotta imagine 20 what in one year one year 15 percent. yes 15 percent. okay mm -hmm. How much do you think my my secure? I don't know if you've ever actually used this. My secure online portal, where you know we upload. Oh, that yeah, that serves. I I would have no idea. I guess that would go up twenty five percent. Okay, all right. How much do you think my internet went up? 
Chicago and they keep burning shit down. Your yes. internet went up. I'm going to guess 20% as well. 20%. Okay. How much do you think my cell phone bill went up? Oh, I, you got me. What, uh, what carrier? It's AT&T. You don't have them, do you? Oh, uh, I don't know. Uh, 12? 15. 15? You got to admit, yeah. I'm pretty good guessing here. I mean, I'm, I'm doing pretty good. You're doing a good job because you know what inflation is. A lot of people don't know what that is. Right. Um, do you know how much filing fees? Well, you wouldn't know this. Those went up 15%. Okay. Look, my point is everything went up. So I'm going to go way back to the beginning here. We're not, Nick is Steve, we're not raising our fees because we're greedy <laughs> capitalists. We're raising them because everybody else fucking raised there. You know, the I, costs and everything. I have a, I have a question. Yeah. Uh, so are you saying that when Obama almost quadrupled the money supply and then Trump tripled it on top of that, that it might have caused some inflation? <laughs> and it wasn't it wasn't greedy capitalists. It was the government. Yes. Oh, Oh, okay. you know who also did? What did you, did you say? Trump did this too. I said Trump tripled it on oh, top okay. of Obama. I, I yeah. Sorry, like, I'm, not, out. I'm not a big fan of Trump because I, I look. I know Obama, despicable man. Whatever. Okay, fine. Uh, and then Trump was like, "Oh my God, Trump, Trump, Trump!" I'm like, the dude literally <laughs> printed off trillions of dollars, put us into more debt than we were in in World. War two to fight a cold and gave you all stimulus checks and you conservatives are like oh he's the second coming of christ i'm like dude what's his name fdr his 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 corpse is jerking off to trump right now with the amount of money he spent so here's the thing i'll just say this he's not gonna watch it anyway my Your dad yeah. hates Trump like it's in he just fucking hates him does, I don't know what does he is. hate him for like reasons that like make sense like he increased the debt or does no. he hate him because he's Trump he hates him because he's Trump that's so sad that's so but sad. he was all like my dad I'm telling you dude this is, earlier today he goes I'll bet you and Clary love Trump and you just talk oh. about how great he is I go you know what he and I have never even had that conversation we've no, never like sat him. there and been like don't we love you, Trump you know who well it wasn't when he was running uh you know who I wanted to be president more than any like I was actually oh that's a guy I want to win which you year? remember her, oh it was the primaries and I think it was when Trump went up against Hillary 2016 2016 yeah I think so yeah this is before he died he died of uh covid uh, Herman Cain. Do you remember Herman Cain? Yeah, I remember Dude, Herman Cain. Dude, that guy would have been the, like, uh, 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 what's his name? Ronald Reagan the second. And then, yeah. Uh, yeah, he he dropped out or didn't get the primary or whatatever. And, and uh, yeah. yep, Herman Cain. Yep. Herman Cain. He, yep. he, dude, that guy was a charming motherfucker. Like, he was <laughs> always smiling. Yeah. Oh, he was cool. He was cool. Yeah, so uh, long story short, look, everything went up across the board with inflation. So obviously we're going to raise our fees. And Clary, I'm going to close this out so we can get to your thing. I have a question. Yeah, go ahead. I got, I'm no economist, but what if we printed off more money uh. to help pay for the fees? <laughs> Housing's really expensive. Why don't we print off more money so we can afford the housing? I'm really scared. Young They're people are so stupid. They might do this again, man. In Chicago, You're gonna have to print off money. Who's gonna borrow our? Who's gonna borrow our bonds? In Chicago, they're already trying to claim COVID is coming back, and they're. they're I'm just like, is it? Uh, well, they're they're trying to good. say that. They're trying to so, say it. Well, they're yeah. trying to say it so what? They could get more stimmy checks. No, so they can shut shit down again, and you know, you know. I think that I think that may be the play because there's a lot of pissed off people that are like, we can't afford anything now because of inflation. So we're going to pour more gasoline on the fire. Yeah. I, I, we're starting to go into conspiracy territory. I, I still don't know how claiming a second pandemic is coming helps people out at all. I don't know how it's going to help people out. I just know that there's whispers like that they there's, some people are saying they are going to start like implementing masks and like shut down shit. I, again, I will not so. do it. I said, well, you, you won't, it won't impact you where you live. So you're I, good. I to don't go. care where I'm I mean, That's, that's, that's the line. Unless I start seeing corpses in the street, 
like we were supposed to. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh my God. Oh God. <clears throat> Unless I start seeing corpses in the street. No. 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 Not, again. not again. Not <laughs> again. All right, Clary. Last thing I wanted right. to ask you, and, and then we'll get to your question. Um, dude, obviously I raised my fees this past tax season. Okay. I'm mm -hmm. only talking about this last year. How many people do you think actually gave me shit about this? Give me a percentage of my clients oh, that gave me shit about I'm going to say 65%. Actually, it was it wasn't a lot. Oh, it's not right, a lot good. of them. All it was right. only about 15%. That's not okay? bad. It's not bad. How do you think I responded to the ones that like gave me shit about raising my fees? You said you can go elsewhere. I first gave them an explanation. I'm like costs went up. I kept mm -hmm. it short. I had to keep my the ones that gave me more guff after that, what do you think happened? Gone. Gone. You're out of here. You're no. out of here. This is the best part. Mm -hmm. Some of them circled back and were like, hey, I'm sorry about what I said earlier. Because they obviously shopped around. They shopped and around. Everybody else. All right. No, no. Do you think I let them back? No. Fuck no. no. And Fuck I'm going to guess they vote Democrat and for free money too. <laughs> And that is the end of my material for this stream. Chad, let me ask you something. Are you worried about not finding no. new clients? No. Why not? Because there are simply not enough of me, and there are too many of them. And if push came to shove, who could go get you a bunch of clients right now if you just wanted to throw the switch? You, and perhaps the great one. I'm oh, just kidding, yeah. just you. <laughs> I remember telling your ex-girlfriend I could find you another girl and replace you did. her. Yeah, I did. You did. And I kind of did. I delivered. This is a perfect segue, Clary. I've been asked to remind you tomorrow mm -hmm. is the candidate's birthday. So if you wouldn't mind sending her a happy birthday text. All right, happy I, would birthday. Happy. <clears throat> I heard Mr. Yeah. Texas is out of, uh, uh, he's doing better. He's doing better. He, he is, is with the living with the candidate for now, yeah. just for to now. get him back on his feet. I will I, hang on. Let me put that on the to-do list because you know I'm going to forget it. I'll text and, you, dude. I'll text you. Oh, you will? Okay. I'll remind you, you yeah. yeah. It would mean I don't give a shit about birthdays. I really don't. I don't oh, I know, birthday. but. You managed no. not to die this year. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll be down there on Sunday and there's a big party planned. Uh, so it's going to be fun. Good. Is our favorite party. Marine going to be there? Yes. All right, yes, good. he will be there. Did he lose weight or is he still fat? Uh, he lost some weight and he um, he looked better. I hadn't seen him in a while. Okay. Um, we went and got a haircut when I was down there a couple weeks ago. It looked good. <laughs> you know, he took me to his barber. We looked good. So it, it was good to see him again. So we, we hung out. Good, yeah. good. So, all right, you want to uh, help out a client of mine? Yes. Here? Let's all get right, to so this, dude. This is uh, here. Hey, Cappy. Uh, he's a younger man in his 30, Nigerian male here. No, I am not an effing Nigerian prince. <laughs> Uh, he works uh, in an industry that I'm not going to say uh, what it is, but he works for a company that does uh, the social media and the marketing and that kind of department. All right. Okay. He earns the equivalent of 7,500 a year, enough to pay for rent, fuel my car and buy food, but not much else. Even though I can easily work from home, the work culture in this country is not remote friendly and I hate it because of this. I have to rent close to my office, which is in an unnecessarily expensive part of my city. Plus the hyperinflation here is 300% in the past eight years has not helped my financial situation at all. Seeking another job here is out of the question because they mostly offer the same working conditions on site with significantly less pay. So as part of my personal efforts to hedge against inflation, I have applied to continue to apply to form remote jobs that pay in U.S. dollars. However, the global community is quite skeptical of hiring Nigerians online. I wonder why. Well, gee. <laughs> He's saying he, I feel bad for him because this ain't his fault. He says, my country's reputation is kind of shitty globally, and this doesn't help honest people like me. Here's the sad thing. Nigeria actually, I think they got oil uh, as well. They're, they're not a small economy. Right. Uh, they're one of the more uh, upside potential uh, countries in uh, Africa. Yeah. But because of the Nigerian Prince email scam, the whole country yeah. is painted. <laughs> That's tough. You remember, I, I went to high school in Africa. So you went Nigeria. to Kenya. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I mean, Nigeria, though, like they're the one. Like, oh, it's an email from Nigeria. It could be like, yeah. no, I just I really want to buy some styrofoam from your firm. I have money. But <laughs> uh, at this point. 
uh, at this point, I feel like I need to leave this country with its annoying low-level problems and incompetent, clueless, and at times downright evil leaders. I have explored different immigration options, and I have discovered that applying for a master's degree, which I know I don't need, offers the best odds of being granted a visa. However, this is an expensive option and would definitely erode my entire life savings to date. My life isn't all terrible, though. My dad recently made some sound financial decisions, and as a result, now owns two houses in addition to the one he currently lives in. He incorporated a company and has made me a director. However, I'm not entitled to any compensa compensation until he passes away, hopefully not anytime soon. <clears throat> what do you notice about his writing, Chad? It sounds to me like he's um, he's explaining the situation clearly. Compared to Americans, how does this email flow? Sequentially and like it makes sense. It's like he was he's he he's better at English. I know they speak English in Nigeria, but I'm just saying he's intelligent, right. he's got it together. It's not like oh remember how I send you wall of text? Yeah, I send you a picture, right? Clara, I need 30 seconds for a rant, oh, and you will appreciate right. this. I will. You guys who email me, and I'm getting more emails, you know, from the channel. Will you please just stick to the point? Like you don't have to ramble about your background, just Give me the relevant points. You don't have to tell me that you were depressed. As you could just get <laughs> stick to the. Did you deal with this? What are you talking about? I send you emails all the time. Oh, I know. Sorry, I just thought you were educated. I... You know, from your videos, educated people enough not to do that. No, no. Like that's why. That's why I get. Look, I'll get emails from foreigners now where English is not even their second, the first language. It's their second or third. It's still better written. It's still more succinct. I don't know if it's the United States, but it's definitely the United States, maybe the Anglosphere, but God Christ Almighty, I don't give a shit about you being raised by, I mean, if you're asking about some being raised by a single mom, then yeah, let me know you're raised by a single mom. But when it's like, well, where should I file my taxes? Like, mm. what the hell was the five pages of bullshit about you being a nerd in middle school about? I've been having some <laughs> trouble with that lately because I get these emails there. Yeah, like, <sighs> that's why I just... So guess what else is missing from his email? The spelling errors, bad spelling grammar. errors because he ain't doing voice to text. You know, he typed it. So he's doing this the right way. Okay. <clears throat> doing it the right way. My question, should I stay here and do this job in these bullshit economic conditions and wait indefinitely for an inheritance? Well, no, that's kind of waiting and sitting. Oh, I believe you'd that, agree yeah. with that. It's not taking any action. Yeah. Should I go ahead with my immigration plans and blow my life savings? Dad is willing to assist. What is your opinion on that? I know mine. I say yes. I mean, if no. dad is willing to assist, you think no? I, no, because that's it's taxing the family wealth. Um, I I am against him blowing his life savings on <clears throat> migration plans, uh, simply because there is a better way to do this. I think. In other words, there, I, what I'm going to recommend he do is cheaper. I think more effective, cost less. And then he will be able to live where he wants, presumably. I mean, my immediate thought was he has to get out of there. But, like, what, what's your solution? Well, it's not Sudan. It's not southern Sudan where they're at war. This is just your standard uh, African country that thought, hey, we could print off more money. Although their oil yeah. prices could have collapsed as well, and that could be causing the inflation. Yeah. Um, but I think it's just he's not in danger. It's just the economy is going right. to shit. Um. Or is design a useless career path and I should figure something else out to do with my life? What do you think, Chad? Man, I, I don't think you should. You don't have to. <laughs> this is a tough one, Clary. Because it's not remember, a tough one. What are you talking about? He has a degree well, in design. Okay, Business well, administration in design. I don't know what he's designing. The, no. Dude, that's the easy part. You have to understand. Yeah. I get Africa a little bit. Like, I understand the constraints that he has right. with, with this. Mm -hmm. And it's not, it's it's harder there to, like, yes. do these types of pivots. So I'm honestly trying to think of my own experience. He, like, here's my question. Would he have been better off with a degree in engineering? Yeah, obviously. Whether he was in Africa or not. Yeah. yeah. Right, right. All right, so I was designing it, bearing in mind that the only viable ways wealth in this useless country are politics and cybercrime. Yeah. Finally, sorry for being shameless, but if anyone in your network needs a competent professional designer on a contract permanent basis, I would appreciate a referral for you. Why is that the solution? Well, I think that he can either do this remotely or, or he can. That's what it is. See. 
look, all right. Um, one of my books, I hired a guy from South Africa. Yeah. He was a good artist. I found him on, I think, Art Station or something. He did a good job, on time, uh, delivered. And I'm like, here you go. Here's your 75 US dollars. I've also had our uh, Good Morning Corona Chan. Yeah. All right. I paid the 75 bucks for the design and everything and the rights. The guy lives in the Philippines. And I've oh. said this, I've said this before. With the internet, you can live in places that have second and third world cost of livings, but bring in salaries that are first world. <clears throat> and whereas his degree is pretty much useless, it's not going to help him. All right. Design, and I'm, yeah. Yeah, design. And yeah, I've hired artists before overseas, but I mean, it's not enough for them to live on. If he had, I don't know, is there a field where there's a shortage of people? <sighs> That is adjacent to a degree in business, but would be considered a business degree where they, the industry doesn't have enough people in it. W would there be a field this guy could go into that also allows remote work that he could command salaries from St. Louis, Missouri or Topeka, <laughs> Kansas, while living in a uh, not as expensive place somewhere now? Is, do, you, do you think there's an industry that might this guy could work in? If I ever strike it rich, I'm going to start a lobby to... Uh, decouple accounting from business schools. It should have its own outside. It should have its own thing. Yeah. So the the solution that I'm recommending to this guy is that he has to go back and get a degree or a skill or a certification, whatever it is, in a field that yeah. is in demand and allows him to make money over the internet. Yeah, because absolutely. he's he's already familiar with working over the Internet because he doesn't have to go into work. But now they're making him go into work. He is willing to offer design. So he knows he could do design projects and all that. But I can't sell design skills because that's a dime a dozen. I can sell someone who's an accountant you know or what? a computer programmer or something like that. I need to tell you what, what's making me nervous about all of this. OK, it's an email scam. No, no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Although, <laughs> yeah, that's going to be everybody's first worry. So one of the things, what was one of the first things that the, before the candidate was the candidate, what did she do for you? That was, you, it just like, it warmed your heart. She, she did, she painted. Oh, she made me a painting. Right? right. Yeah. Somebody who's an accountant, again, I would like to be proven wrong. We can't do that shit. And when I think design, I'm thinking like left brain and and right brain or so. Do, do you think he can do accounting? Well, he has a degree. In, it's business administration in design. And it doesn't so, matter. It, hey, it doesn't matter what he wants to do. Like, did I want to teach ballroom dance class? Maybe. Like, go, go back to me <laughs> like when I'm 20 years old. Hardcore finance, economics, math. Do you think I want like dance? Do you think I, I was going to write? I, I don't think you wanted to, but that's it is. It's a great way to meet women. Uh, okay. Do I enjoy writing? Yeah. No. No, I don't. I hate no, it. You hate, I it. hate it. I know. Why that do much. I do yeah. it? Makes pays the bills. It pays the bills. Yeah. So now is he a liberal white chick from the suburbs of <laughs> Winnetka or Edina? Does he have this option living in Nigeria to do what he wants? Uh, he does not fall into that. Uh, is the Nigerian uh, government going to say, oh, my goodness, precious little princess, let's print off some more whatever the new? currency is down there and make it so you can major in fluffy bunny study. Are they going to do that for him? <laughs> no, absolutely not. <laughs> I think he pulls a Parker Franklin. I would love it if everybody did that. Well, he, he, so hear, hear me out, and this is to the client. <clears throat> I would go and investigate more thoroughly than what I have. What I did is I looked up, can foreigners become enrolled agents? And I can't find a clear answer. In, can they? You, you're sure they can? They can, but they need to, this is not an insurmountable situation. Right. He needs to find somebody to work with who's a citizen. Okay. okay, that's not impossible. Remember, we have a shortage, so this can be done. Right. Okay, yeah. so he has to work under someone for a while? Yeah. Okay, so he could do that. But, yes. but <clears throat> could So he could become an enrolled agent Yeah. being a foreigner. Yeah. Okay, so he would watch the episodes with you and 
Parker Franklin, he could certainly go online and look at the requirements and the testing for him to become an enrolled agent yeah. and the added requirements that would require of him. He might have to come to the United States to test for it, I'd sure. imagine. Sure. Okay. Yeah. I mm -hmm. think that is a much better option. He comes here on a tourist visa or whatever, takes the enrolled agent test, and then also now he's an enrolled agent. But is he interested in it? That's what, 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 what we just talked about <laughs> the white girl from the suburbs bullshit. Who gives a shit if he's interested? I think he doesn't want to work and be be poor for anymore. That's what what do you mean interested? Clearly, this is boring shit. Like, yes, it is. That's why you're paid more. You I don't know. get paid money to do the fun shit. I just want to make sure that he would understand that. That's my thing. Hey, client, did you know accounting is boring? <laughs> Because I'm sure in Nigeria, accounting is just super duper fun. I'm sure they love their debits and credits down there. Oh, I didn't know this. Um, so Nick is Parker Steve. Uh, did, no, did you? I didn't know this. I did not know this. Okay. The, okay. So he doesn't yeah. even have to fly to the U.S. All right. Yeah, so I didn't here, know that. All right. So this plan is coming together. All right. Yeah. So all I'm saying is he could educate himself remotely yes by going online yeah teaching himself you can order the books yeah. you can because you would be training to become a u.s enrolled agent <clears throat> if he wanted to be a little bit more formal i'm pretty sure he could actually attend college in the united states online get yes. an accredit getting accredited legitimate credits through western governors university yes uh let me double check Hang no, on. that's true. He's no, I can tell you that's true. I, I just want to look at what tu tuition is. Western Governors University uh, tuition. I think it's six thousand a, a year. Okay, so it's seventy four hundred a year. Western pretty Governors. affordable. Average college aid. What really? It's affordable and it's online. But Parker Franklin didn't go to college. He just did self study and the exams. Yeah. <clears throat> so I think that's this guy. This guy's way out. Mm -hmm. is he self-studies, takes practice exams, and becomes an enrolled agent. Yeah. Concurrently with that, he also self-educates in accounting, and he learns QuickBooks. Uh, U.S. accounting, by the way. Yes. You're, not trying, you're not commanding a salary from Nigeria. You don't want Nigeria accounting. You want U.S. accounting. He goes and gets certified in QuickBooks. Yeah. He can, he can – don't they have, like, set you up with work right off the bat then? He, if he can get certified with QuickBooks, like that yeah. gives him a real leg up because they're, I'm telling you, the shortage of bookkeepers. Exactly. Man. Yeah. What? And are, and are the liberal white kids from the suburbs going to do it? No. With their, no, they're not going to do it. Not. So we're going to have to rely on this guy. All right. Yeah. <clears throat> so he could do QuickBooks. Yeah. Self educate, start working. He could up it to do taxes as an enrolled agent. Yes. And all he has to do. It's just set up whatever a bank account in Nigeria or maybe a place a little bit safer. And now he's got that set up. He doesn't yeah. even have to go to college. He doesn't have to go and apply to immigration and like, hey, please, Europe, give me a job. Hey, you can wash dishes. Thank you for your five euros per hour. This guy could be billing out. What is an enrolled agent charge? Enrolled agents, if they work for themselves, you know, they can get their price points where I am or otherwise, you know, we're talking for bookkeeping 50 to $60 an hour, $50 to or... $60 an hour. Yeah, that's, sure. that's $100,000 US. Sure. He's the king of Nigeria. Now, and he's going to work hard enough. Yeah. Right. Now, hopefully he doesn't get stolen or scammed out of the bank or whatever. <laughs> no, I'm being serious. No. He'd have to like find a place to, <clears throat> to do this, but that's, that's, I think what he could do. If he doesn't like accounting, then the other options are largely what programming IT. I guess. I mean, the remote jobs. He could become a YouTube commenter or channel. Yeah, but, okay. <laughs> yeah, and and stand the same chances of him working in design. I'm just saying. I think that's that's the quickest way to solve his problem and to make pretty good money. Now, a couple questions, Chad, because I thought yeah. about this. Sure. Should his email have dot Nigeria at the end of it? No. 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 Go get a Proton email address or a Google yes. email address or something very, very basic. Hold on, Claire. I'm glad you mentioned yeah. this. This is yeah. for everybody. Like my website is elkincpa.com. And when right. you get a website like that, you can get a 
email address that's you know chad at elkincpa.com which is my email address right it's really not that expensive to do the same thing like set up a legit web page and mm -hmm. get that legit website you don't want to use you know accountant 44 at gmail.com like yeah no 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 I, yeah I, I, he would yeah. he would legitimately set up you know <clears throat> yes bob's accounting yeah i still like bob's accounting hunt i think that's a great bob's thing. accounting hunt. with bob's accounting hunt i like that uh, but he would have a, you know, a very simple yet professional, like your yes. website. And then he offers yeah. tax services and bookkeeping. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. It's in English. He has the English language down pat. What's, and aside from the Nigerian email, which he won't have, what's the other thing he has to do? Okay. We've got a web page. We don't have a strange. I'll email give you a hint comes. because he's in Nigeria. Unfortunately, a reputation comes with that. <sighs> What would he need to do? What would he need to do? Are you thinking open up an LLC in the U.S.? No, or? no, no. Nothing that complicated. Yeah. yeah. Should he use his real name? No. No. Do not do be not. Donald Uquebeque. Like, be Donald Dude, Smith. it's almost yeah. like that. Like, it's a name yeah. I can't pronounce. And, um, and okay, now here's the other thing. <clears throat> what do foreigners... They take on an American name. Like when you call India customer service, what are their names? Or let's say you're an Asian grad student. You come over. What names do they give themselves? Christopher, Jonathan, Steve. That uh, would make sense. No. Oh, you mean the, the people that are doing it wrong. Um, the people who are doing it wrong. Trung, Trang. No, no, no. Uh, they give themselves baby boomer names. Oh, like, you are. No. Like, Gary, no one names no. their kid Gary. You're Charlie. not Lloyd. Your name yeah, is not Lloyd. Yeah, you're you're not um Russell. Right? No <laughs> Russell. No Russell. No. And uh -uh. I know, I know. Maybe to him, it's like a really. He's like, well, that's an American name. Like, no, those are names that like people really old or foreigners yes. when they come over. Richard, like these are old school classic. You know, Wayne. Yes. And so what I would Henry. I would You're come up Henry. with a very you come up with a an alias, all right? <clears throat> uh and y y John is good cuz it's universal. Yep. I would say Chad is fine. Biblical names, I guess Mark. One syllable is fine. I think that's the rule. One syllable. One syllable? Sam Mark. No, Sam's too old. Sam's an old oh, name. Oh, Sam is Who old names Sam a kid whiskey. Sam? No one names a kid Sam anymore. Chris. <laughs> David, Mark, Jeff, Jeff. Yeah. I have a ton of Jeff friends. Yeah, Jeff. Yeah, yeah. no, uh, Michael, Mike. Yeah, or Mike. Yeah, no, people still name themselves. So you don't want it to go too edgy with Tanner and Blanner and Fanner and Yaden and Hayden. Adam. And Hayden. Uh, yeah. Too old? <laughs> little, it's getting there. It's yeah. getting there. So I would, you know, Mike. Kurt. You don't want to go Smith or Johnson, but Mike, um, Mike, hang on. Let's look up last names, <laughs> last names that start with R. Mike Rivera. How does that sound? Rivera. Mike Rivera. That, that sounds like a normal name. Patino. <laughs> no, he's, uh, I hang know. on. Mike, <clears throat> Mike, uh, Roberts, Mike. Ramir, they're all R, they're all Spanish. Hang on, let's get Spanish is normal. Uh, Mike Romero, huh? That's kind of Romero. Sexy. I don't uh, know about Bob. Bob to me is like an old person's name, you know. Bob. Yeah, Bob's an old person name. Yeah, um, Kevin's pretty common. I see Kevin, I see so many Kevins. Uh, Mike Rogers, Mike Rowe. Well, that's that's a famous actor, Mike Rowe, yeah, <clears throat> Mike Roth. Mike Rangel, Mike uh, Randall, Ryan, Mike Rosario, Mike Mike Russo, Russo, Mike Randolph. Yeah, I think so. I think if he came up with a not, my name is Richard Smith. You know that it, it, it would Dick it would Smith. be believable, right? I do think that's one of the best pieces of advice, which he'll hear about this. Change your name. It's not. We're not trying to be assholes here, but. Change your name. Yeah, I mean, and you could set up and a company and have the payment actually go to someone else. 
And then, yeah. if, and inevitably, here's the thing: you're gonna fess up. Like if you're you're gonna do a a live stream with them, you're gonna do um, what are we doing now? Like uh, what's the talking software where people hold meetings? Oh, Zoom. Zoom. He's gonna do yeah. a Zoom meeting with his clients because he's gonna be online. They're gonna look at him and say. Dang, you're pretty dark for a guy named Mike Rosario. <laughs> and he'd be like, yeah. And he's going to have his Nigerian accent. And I'm like, where are you from, Rosario? Well, originally I'm from Nigeria. And like, well, yeah, I, I run the company. But, you know, I'm doing. You know, it, I like it, this name, Chad Chadson. That's, that's not, no. <laughs> <laughs> so there, that, that'd be my right. <laughs> he's going to have to get some kind of skill online for free or near free. If he wants to pay for a college degree that's employable, I recommend Western Governors University. But the skill or the trade he picks up has to be able to command business online. And so he could start collecting money. And then it doesn't matter where he lives. You know, he could travel around the world, get himself a Hong Kong, Shanghai Banking Corporation um, bank account because that's kind of global or maybe Chase. And then he's Mike Hunt. Yeah, that's a kind of a cool name. <clears throat> uh, say no? it fast. <laughs> okay really really that's what you guys are gonna do to me huh <laughs> yeah anyway not mike hunt uh <laughs> this is, we got six-year-olds in the audience uh yeah but he, he'd have some kind of uh no not that one either leslie <laughs> but, but then he he's able to command a salary and then he could travel wherever he wants yeah. All right, what else? Do we got another one? Do we got another? Uh, well, well we got a this stupid one, name? but I, I didn't think over, you, right? Uh, okay, uh, all right, yeah, okay, know, yeah. That, right. Well, th that too, but you know. <laughs> all right, good, but I think we film. A okay, enough. Are there any super chats? <laughs> Are there any super chats before we got to go to bed? Let's uh, get the super chat so Clary can go to bed. Thank you for answering that with me, by the way. Oh, uh, no truth. problem. <clears throat> go ahead. The king, laughing out loud, so much super. Chato De Niro just flowing in. Dia mio, Cappy. Must be mucho contento about having to share. Chad picking up Boomer Cappy's dressing styles. I, I, there's nothing wrong with Hawaiian shirts. I'm all into the Hawaiian shirts. I mean, the candidate brought me this, and it was mm -hmm. my third Hawaiian shirt. So yep. I'm all no, I dig it. it. I dig it. Is that it? Oh, naughty no, no, DJ got Aftershock, five bucks. Yeah. E accounting, ew, that's lame and not cool and hot. I want to date someone who's in something exciting like investment banking or sales or crime. Or crime. <laughs> crime. I don't think his goal is to get the girls. And I think the women over in Nigeria are probably a little more level-headed. Like if he starts bringing in 100,000 U.S., um, he might have a whole new other set of problems, but I think that would be the way. To go. Did he give his age, if you remember? Or was... Younger 30s. I don't want to identify yeah. him too much. Okay, fair uh, enough. Uh, my truth, two bucks. Inflation is transitory. Yellen and Powell said so. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, has inflation gone down? No. Uh, yeah. Eric Burns Marsh, two bucks. In favor of a flat tax, A cup women should pay more. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I man. unfortunately the girls at the Perky Cup were um they were um A B cup. Uh, they were cute ish, but they, they were not. Well, those are the, just the ones you saw today. We'll see who uh, I'm gonna go out. It was good coffee too. It's the first place I want to go from the airport. Uh we'll stop there if they're open. Bob, two bucks. When you learn bookkeeping, do you have to update your skills? Not really, not really. honestly. Yeah. No. <clears throat> but don't forget it, obviously. Hmm. My truth, two bucks, like El Presidente with his show said, you fired. <laughs> was once the Presidente. Once the Presidente. Cynic in chief, two bucks, just got a pesky bug fixed, only 39 more to go. But, but, but Cynic, do you really like computer programming? Really? <laughs> Wouldn't you rather just, you know, rub chocolate <laughs> sauce all over your body and eat bonbons? You know, I didn't know Chad. Was, I'm sorry, Chad. Are you from Winnetka? What? What? We? I'm from Edina. You from Edina? Oh, <laughs> I, okay. know. I get why you're doing that, but it's like, dude, you still have to like at least like it a little bit. No, no. You know what's worse than having a job you hate? What? Not having money and being poor. That's what I, sucks more. Dude, okay? I grew up in shithole countries. I agree. Okay. I know. <laughs> right. Well. Nonstop Dre, two bucks. Chad loves block text, life stories, and 
speech to text. <laughs> Honestly, man, I get your pain because I get I've been getting again. You guys keep it short if you're gonna email me. Charge questions. more. They're not gonna keep it short. They're they're you. They're, 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 just trust me. I'm, Ten years were coming up on asshole consulting. They're not gonna keep it short. Oh, 20 Canadian bucks from Airborne Phantom 00. Hey, guys, I'm an accounting student starting articling soon. Audit. Okay. What additional work can I do to maximize my earnings through side gigs immediately? Should I look into trades or can I find accounting work for the same pay? Okay. If you're already doing accounting, I articling, audit, bookkeeping. You, If you are doing audit, you know, bookkeeping backwards and forwards, it should be the same in Canada as it is in the U.S. Dude, get certified in QuickBooks, do bookkeeping. They need yep. them in Canada just like we need them in the U.S. Chad, can do. can Canadians do American work? <sighs> like if I'm an American in need of an accountant, can I pay a Canadian to do it? Please do that because, yes. If I can pay across the Canadian border, if I can hire a Canadian, can I hire a Nigerian? Yeah. Do... Oh, well, that's how it works. Okay. Could the That's Nigerian be sitting on a nice beach in Thailand while he's doing the accounting for me in America? Yes, oh. but the whole point is you can do whatever you want to do as long as you're good at it in accounting. But Chad, accounting's boring. Naughty DJ Aftershock, <laughs> two bucks. So yes, go to, so yes, client, go buy Claire Vladkins for your alias. <laughs> we should have everyone kind of like have a poll on what is what his alias should be. Clary, Clary counting. Um, it, it should be uh, what did I call you, Eric Corey? That was Eric your Corey. name. Michael. Yep, that was your name for your redheaded love interest. Then, Clary, that is everything we have. Is there anything you want to plug or talk about? Uh, the minimalism course will be open uh, on the third through the eighth. So I'm going to open up that for enrollment uh, on Teachable. Um, otherwise, no book sales kind of took a dump. What happened? I don't know. Uh, something They don't always stay high. <clears throat> Obviously, it depends on how much work I do. But usually when I'm banging out the videos, there's a fair amount of book sales. But they just, I don't know if people are getting ready for school or what. So, I mean, I guess go buy a book. If you're interested in getting your financial act together, there's Bachelor Pad Economics. There's uh, Poor Richard's Retirement. Worthless Young Person's Indispensable Guide to Choosing the Right Major. Uh, Curse of the High IQ. And How Not to Become a Millennial, among many others. So, I mean, if you're looking for financial stuff there you go that only but uh, you can't see this but sam whiskey has a picture of shit with a happy face on naturally it. hey where's atham yeah. has he just been having fun i haven't seen him in my chats in a while i haven't say so atham a, a friend of atham's passed away in the last few days so he's a really? little bit down yeah oh. so, so check in with him yeah bit. maybe i'll go check in with atham so was yeah. it self-deletion or was it something else I don't know, but it sounded a little bit crip. It, it sounded bad. So, okay. um, yeah. All right. On that note, uh, you guys, uh, thank you for uh, tuning in. Clary, I really appreciate it. I know it's later where you are compared to where I am. I'm right going to have my sleepy so. tea. Oh, did I, did I tell you what the GF made? What did the GF make? I, it's, I, I, you know. Oh, you go, you do, bro. You got a girl. What you? you don't know nothing. She made homemade mint ice cream. With chocolate chips. Really? Then she made, yeah, for the keto diet, she made these uh, a first go at um, a shell of flower shells, like soft shells for the for tacos. But she made it out of like a, a melted flat cheese and mozzarella that has the give and consistency. Yeah. Maintain keto. There was something else. Oh. And then you, you do you have boba tea? You ever have boba tea? Yes, I have actually. That's we we made our own boba. Yeah, really. And we cut it up. Yeah, we got big straws now, so we got our own boba tea because I don't think they got anywhere here in Rapid City. How does she have time to do this? Unlike the two of us, she, she has doesn't a real have a commute job. anymore. Oh, that's true. Yeah, <laughs> it's amazing what you could do with the, without a commute. Yeah. So, and I I kind of help with some of the stuff too. Well, when should we hang out again, dude? We should hang out. Soon. Uh, soon.